How do you make your portfolio more relevant to the future? You might start your portfolio with a 90% foundation of diversified ETFs like the five in the Money and Shackled Ultimate Portfolio and give 10% to themes that you think are set to boom. This is your way of ramping up the returns on your portfolio from stock market average to market beating. For instance, when the markets wrote oil off as yesterday's fuel in 2020, I added an oil ETF onto the Ultimate Portfolio and sure enough it's had a great few months as we move past the pessimism into 2021. Far more interesting than oil though are the newly emerging themes of the future like robotics, fintech and biotech, each of which have a strong representation in the ETF market. The companies within these sectors have the potential to be the stocks whose growth the armchair spectators look back on with envy, with success stories similar to those of Apple and Amazon waiting to be written. If we want to wait towards any of these futuristic themes, we're going to need to go looking for some specialist investments. Today, we're deep diving into the themes of the future and serving you up the best ETFs, stocks and other assets to add into your portfolio so you can jump aboard the progress train. Let's check it out. Welcome to moneyandchapter.com, the investment and finance channel and website that sets you and your finances free. That was Andy and I'm Ben and if you like what we say, hit the like button and click subscribe. If you want to invest in any of these futuristic themes, you will probably find what you need on Interactive Investor or Free Trade, links below. Free Trade will even give you a free stock worth up to £200 when you sign up through our offer. Robotics and AI. Think about the future and you think robots. From autonomous cars to the artificial intelligence that no doubt will eventually end up winding its way through all industries. Autonomous vehicles are already at an advanced stage of development. Soon, politicians will be talking about the implications of having driverless cars on the roads. Robotics will free up people's time. Using cars as an example, you can work or play while commuting. And like the vacuum cleaner saved us from scrubbing the floors by hand, maybe AI could advance to the point where your chores are all taken care of by house robots. City centres will be redesigned as AI changes the way we do things, and machines will be given production and delivery jobs, driving efficiencies. Basically, any company that reaches a breakthrough in artificial intelligence or robotics will be pivotal in one of the biggest shakeups of the economy since the invention of the computer, and the intellectual property behind the technology will be worth an absolute fortune. Backing individual winners is tough though, which is why the catch-all net of a robotics ETF is so helpful. The iShares Automation and Robotics ETF tracks the stocks global automation and robotics index of 181 robotic stocks from around the world. It has an ongoing charges figure of 0.4%, which you'll find is around as cheap as it gets for ETFs that track a specific industry rather than a major stock exchange. Here's the top 10 holdings. There's Snapchat, who are getting involved with drone manufacturing, Qualcomm, who deal in intellectual property and semiconductors, and of course, Apple, as one of the richest tech companies in the world, gets a showing as they commit millions to robotics research and development. For a purer focus on artificial intelligence, there's the Wisdom Tree Artificial Intelligence ETF with an ongoing charges figure of 0.4%. This beauty of an ETF focuses on the NASDAQ CTA Artificial Intelligence Index, but despite the name, this too is a global index, with just 56% being US companies. Here's the top 10 holdings, which as you can see, make up a significant chunk of the fund, in which only 56 companies make the cut. These are the global companies most focused on the development and rollout of AI. Fintech. The banking industry is yet to really be disrupted by technology. Many small-scale entrants like Monzo have tried, but on the whole, banks operate in much the same way they always have. Which is why it seems inevitable that change is on the way. What worked in the 20th century isn't suited to the challenges of the future. In many ways, the banking system is still very inefficient and fees relatively high. There is a need for new solutions and there will be profits to be made for the companies that find them. Tech giants like Apple and Google are making inroads into the online payment space and big tech is sure to benefit as the big banks remain stubbornly fixated on the past. But the real growth opportunities lie in the smaller fintech companies. Fintechs are finance companies that use technology to solve specific problems. The majority of fintech companies are unfortunately not yet available to invest in through the stock market but may become established enough to IPO in the next few years. Our fintech ETF of choice is the Invesco KBW NASDAQ fintech ETF, which selects the top 50 fintech stocks on the US NASDAQ index. We would of course prefer a global ETF, 
but options in this space are limited, and the US is the major player in the industry anyway. It has an acceptable ongoing charges figure of 0.49%, considering the limited choice. We would expect more fintech ETFs to become available in the near future, as investors are rightly focusing on this key growth theme. Bitcoin and crypto. Crypto is technically an offshoot of fintech, but has ballooned into a multi-billion dollar industry in its own right. But the inclusion of cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin as an investment of the future is controversial. So far, the crypto revolution hasn't lived up to its promise of replacing fiat currencies and overhauling global banking. But the hope is that blockchain technology will form a dominant part of the banking system of the future. The FCA just rather unhelpfully made it illegal for private investors to buy crypto ETFs in the UK, even though it was only in the last year that these became widely available on the market. So the best way to invest in crypto is still by buying the currency itself. We invest in crypto using the Coinbase app, voted the best crypto exchange by Investopedia. It is a secure online platform for buying, selling and storing digital currencies. If you want to get some more freebies, open an account via the link below and get $10 of free Bitcoin to start you off. Just be aware that there are typically big trading and withdrawal fees for crypto, so it may be best to buy larger amounts and hold until you're ready to cash in. Biotech. Biotech is one of the most interesting areas of the stock market. Biotech stocks typically pay no dividends, make trading losses and tend not to sell anything. And yet, they are touted as the future of healthcare. Biotech companies are primarily research and development operations whose goal is to invent the next breakthrough in medicine. They'll plow millions into medical science experiments, searching for a new way of doing medicine that will land them with multi-billion dollar intellectual property rights. It's that fresh intellectual property that we as investors want to own a piece of. This can then be sold to the big pharmaceutical companies like AstraZeneca and Pfizer, who make steady profits in the normal way, by selling products. Often, Big Pharma will just buy out an entire biotech company rather than the intellectual property, which usually results in a juicy payout for you, the investor. AstraZeneca's bought out loads, like Spirogen here, in a $440 million deal. The cure for cancer, for instance, is likely to come from a biotech company. The technology that went into the Pfizer vaccines for COVID-19 came from the German biotech company BioNTech. BioNTech is one of those successful biotech companies that helped drive up the share prices across the sector. If we look at the sector as a whole, the average company not making profits doesn't seem to stop biotech share prices from increasing overall. Here's the price performance of the Nasdaq Biotechnology Index since inception in 2011, up 400% in 10 years. The iShares Nasdaq US Biotechnology ETF includes a pool of 285 biotech companies, many of which will hit the intellectual property jackpot. It has an ongoing charges figure of 0.35%, but only covers companies on the Nasdaq, and so has a 91% US exposure. Luckily, the US is the main market for biotech. Again, this is the best of a limited bunch of ETFs. The planet is undergoing a demographic shift towards older people. Biotech is where shareholders can expect to make the big gains from this shift in the economy towards supporting longer life. Space exploration. Space tourism may seem like a novelty, but Virgin Galactic is pioneering solutions in this space, and while tickets priced at $250,000 are obviously a tad on the expensive side for most people, efficiencies will be made and prices will come down. Space-themed companies are also involved in satellite communication systems, critically important for connecting our economies down at ground level, and hopefully, one day, mining for resources and energy. And let's not forget Elon Musk's SpaceX and its mission to colonise Mars. Unfortunately, there's no widely available space ETF for investors based in the UK, so we must buy individual stocks to invest in space. It sucks that you can't invest in SpaceX as it's privately owned by Elon, but a great resource for finding other space-themed stocks is by checking the SNET Space Index, which lists 31 space stocks including Virgin Galactic and Maxar Technologies that we've covered before in this video linked to below. We'll put the link to the Space Index below for you too. Buying themes, a warning. Before buying sector funds, keep in mind that too much exposure to one theme can be harmful to your portfolio. 20 years ago, most phones still looked like this. Other innovations we can't possibly imagine could come from companies and themes you have not focused on. A good strategy with sector funds is to add them to a diversified core holdings, like onto the ultimate portfolio we mentioned earlier, covered in full detail in this video linked below. Question of the day, what themes do you think will do well in the years ahead? Join the conversation in the comments below.
Thanks for watching. On this channel, we talk a lot about personal finance, investing, and all things money. And if you want to see more great content, please click the subscribe button below. This is moneyonshackle.com. See you next time.